Yo, yo, what up? It's your boy, Mr. Locario, the bad boy of the dating game. What's good? So, this video, I'm titling it, Attractive Women Get Hit On All The Time. So what? Okay, so what? <laughs> the reason why I'm even saying it like this is because I, I hear this all the time when, this is like the excuse guys give um, when it comes to them feeling like they can't get you know hot girls they're like oh but the, the 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 chicks who are really hot they get hit up all the time or you know these 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 you know these dimes they get hit up all the time so how am i how am i gonna get with these girls when they get hollered at all the time and again i say so what you know and and, and my 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 thing I always say about this is you know did they didn't get hollered at by you though but again, see, this this isn't going to make sense to most guys uh, who have low self-esteem, who don't value themselves, who don't have any confidence, you understand? Because, you know, to them, it's like getting a, a, an attractive woman is impossible. It's it's insane. There's, there's, there's too much competition, quote unquote, right? So you're thinking that because she gets hit up all the time, and since you are just some regular loser that, you know, there's, there's no way that you're going to get this girl, right? And now, this is the thing. If you think you're a loser and if you're insecure, if, you, if you're not confident, if you, uh, you know, don't really work on yourself, you don't work on your game, then yeah, it's going gonna, it's gonna to be hard for you, bro. It's going to be hard for you, okay? So it, 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 that's what's going to happen. But what you have to understand is, is that if you are the type of dude who works on himself, who believes in himself, who's confident, who's attractive. And when I say attractive, attractive, let, let's, let's, let's talk about that for real quick. Attractive is not just looks. This is what, what, what messes a lot of you guys up. You think being attractive is just about your looks. You understand? What you have to understand is, is that another part of your, what makes you attractive is your sex appeal and, you know, just your overall behavior, right? And so the reason why I'm saying, you know, these girls are getting hit up all the time, so what, is because if you're the type of guy who's on point, right, none of that really matters because when she deals with you, you're not those other dudes. You understand? You're not those other guys. So, <laughs> you know, you have to understand what makes you, you, what makes you unique, what makes you that dude. But if you don't see that in yourself, how the hell is these girls going to see that when they, when they deal with you, right? See, the, the unfortunate part about this game is that a lot of guys, <laughs> they, they lump themselves up in, 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 you know, the same category as everyone else. Their mindset is on some other shit so it's kind of like you know when, when you, you always hear this thing this is a very like you know cliche saying where a guy will say well you know if this girl has sex with you quick you know that must mean she's done that to every other guy right and basically when you say that you are saying you are every other guy you understand now let's take that same scenario and say Oh yeah, of course this girl wants to fuck me because I'm that dude, right? Now, whether or not the girl fucks every other guy or whether or not the girl fucks you because she thinks you're that dude is irrelevant. What is relevant is how do you look at it? How you look at it is going to determine how you look at yourself. Because when a chick is fucking with me, right? And let's say, you know, she's trying to, have sex with me the same night she meets me i'm expecting that i'm like hell fucking yeah you're supposed to want to fuck me you understand when a chick is on some oh you know i gotta wait and you know i don't really know you like that to me i'm looking at her like i don't want to fuck with you no more because you're in you're it, i'm offended that you would even not fuck with me like i'm offended that you are are are, are not aware that i'm that fucking dude 
You understand? I'm not thinking about like, oh, she's she's awesome because, you know, she's she's a good girl. She's, you know, she's the type of girl who's, you know, she's not a slut out here fucking all these guys. No, I'm looking at her like she's fucking crazy. You understand? Because she's not trying to fuck with me because I'm that dude. You feel what I'm saying? It's a different mindset. So when I see a, a chick who's hot, I don't give a fuck if she getting hit on all the time. You understand? This chick ain't never met me, though. You understand what I'm saying? She's never met me. Now, think about that for a second. Because you might be saying to yourself as you're listening to this to this audio, you're like, come on, Locario. That's bullshit and blah, 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 and all this other stuff. And see, that shows where your mind is at. That shows where that shows what you think about you. Because if what I'm saying is not resonating with you, you know, you understand what I'm saying? As far as you understanding you're the shit and, and expecting women to gravitate to you to that in that manner, that means that your mindset is on the opposite spectrum, meaning that you don't think you're the shit. You don't think that you uh, bring value. You're not confident. You understand? Which is why you would even worry about an attractive woman getting hit on all the time. You understand? See, that means something to you because you don't think that there's anything interesting about you. You're not confident. You don't think that that girl or those women would want to fuck with you. You understand? That's 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 what I'm saying. So what? She gets hit on all the time. That's great. Who gives a fuck? What does that have to do with me? What does that have to do with you? You understand? And see, what you have to understand is, is that when you're when you have a, a, a whole different mindset, when you are interacting with women and you see yourself a certain way, right? What happens is, is that you have a different type of expectation when it comes to dealing with women. You have a different type of energy when it comes to dealing with women. And so you see the game differently, right? So what it is, is this, is that you know, on a, on a, on a logistical level, you say to yourself, well, yeah, you know, there are going to be some girls who, um, just aren't going to want to fuck with me because I'm not their type. You feel what I'm saying? It is what it is. But when you, you have to have the mindset that you're that dude that all of these chicks want to fuck with, you understand what I'm saying? So that when that girl doesn't try to fuck with you, you're not looking at it as damn well, she doesn't want to fuck with me because I suck. And plus she has all these other guys who are probably better looking and who have nicer cars and money and yada, yada, yada. And that's why I can't get this girl. You understand? So a lot of you are going down that route, which is why you even care about the fact that this chick gets hollered at all the time. What, what, what does that actually really have to do with you though? And, and you trying to get what you're trying to get. And you trying to do what you're trying to do. What does that have to do with anything? You understand? It's only important to you if you think that you can't make that type of shit happen. It's only important, it's only important to you if you think that you don't measure up. And see, it's funny because when, when you think about it this way, it's, it's, it's really putting women on this big ass pedestal. It's like ridiculous. You understand? Like even the, it's, it's ridiculous because look, the fact that you got a, 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 let's say a girl looks good or whatever. Yeah. There's probably going to be dudes trying to holler at her. Why? Cause dudes holler at chicks. Like, what do you, what do you, what do you expect? What do you want? Right. But what does that have to do with you doing your thing? How do you know that you're not going to be the guy she's going to be like, damn, I'm, I'm glad this motherfucker came up to me. How do you know you don't? You understand? And it's your fear that got you worrying about that type of shit. You understand? See, and this is the, this is the sad part about it. This is what I see in the game right now. This is so fucking sad when I see this shit. You have a lot of dudes out here 
who, instead of working on themselves, instead of bettering themselves, instead of being becoming that guy who women find attractive, instead of you know um, being on point, what they'll do is is that they'll run into these attractive women and try to sort of separate themselves by doing some sort of trickery or some gimmicks or some other goofy ass shit. You know, and they're like, well, I'm going to, I'm going to get her number. Then I'm going to, I'm going to pretend that, uh, I don't really want her. So I'm going to, I'm not going to call her for like two weeks. And you know, you know what I'm saying? Or, or I, I text her, but she didn't respond. So I'm going to wait like a month and then call her back. And I got to make sure I, like, I, I can never compliment her at all because, you know, I don't want to give her any validation because then, you know, she's not going to like me. I have to pretend I don't like her. So then she'll maybe like me. And then I got to do all of this extra shit. And then I got to make fun of her a little bit and, and tease her in this way so that she, you know, doesn't think I really like her because if she thinks I really like her, then she's not going to be interested in me. And then what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to, you know, do this thing. So she thinks I'm high value because, you know, um, it's just like, come on guys. Come on. You understand? Like, I really, I really, I really want you guys to understand that most of the issues and the problems that you have attracting women is really coming from your own mind. You understand? Because what you guys don't understand when it comes to dealing with women, women are emotional. You understand? And so what happens is, is that most of these guys out here are trying to attract women with logic. They're like, oh, look at me, girl. Look at how sexy I am. Look at my chiseled jaw. And look at, you know, look at all the, like, look at all these fancy clothes and look at this car I got, girl. You see this car I got? Come on now. Look at this car I got. I got all this fucking money. You know, I'm, I'm super high status, right? Now, I'm not saying none of that stuff matters. I'm just saying that most guys because they don't understand attraction, because they don't understand uh, uh, what makes a girl gravitate to you, they don't understand what it means to be an attractive guy, right? They're looking at the fact that, oh, this girl gets hit on a lot by a bunch of dudes, and they'll say, well, what's going to make her like me? Because I don't have all that other shit. I don't have the car and the money, and I'm not the best looking dude, so I have no chance with her because she's getting, you know, approached and hit on by all of these dudes, right? And I'm saying that you thinking that way is because you don't understand your value and you don't understand what it means to attract women. You understand all the looks and the, all that other shit is cool. That's icing on the cake, but it ain't the cake. You understand? It ain't the cake. Because for all of the good looking guys that you, look, let me tell you guys something, man. Oh my God. Oh my God. Let me tell you guys something, man. See, I date a lot of women. Okay. And I've said this before where when I date these chicks, I don't just date them. I learn what's going on. I tell these chicks, let me see your fucking uh, text messages from these dudes. Let me see your inbox on Tinder and Bumble. You understand? Let me, let me, let's talk about your ex-boyfriend. You know what I mean? Like, let me, let's, like, what's really go, what's really good with you? Right? And so, what I find interesting is this. Is that most women, what I've noticed, I say, I would say like 85 to 90% of, of, of women out here have a, have an open type, meaning that, they don't just go for one type of dude because I've seen a, a big range of motherfuckers that, that, that chicks get with, you understand? But the, 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 the one thing that I notice, the one thing that I notice, and even in, even in my, you know, uh, situations with women where I've tried to get with certain women and I don't really make nothing happen, but then I would see other guys they're fucking with. And what, what I noticed is the, 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 the main thing is that the guys that the women gravitate to, right? The thing that they had in common was they all were able to get this chick's mind. They all were able to get her emotionally caught up in a bullshit. That's the thing I've noticed 
that was similar through all of these dudes. Because a lot of these dudes look different. A lot of these dudes were dudes who probably, you know, weren't uh, the same on an economic type of situation. Because I, I remember this one girl I was messing with. Um, she actually fucked with a dude who was homeless. You understand what I'm saying? And she also fucked with a guy who's making six figures. You understand? So there's, there's this open type. So the thing is, when it comes to you guys out there talking about, oh, you know, I can't get these girls because they got all these girls, they, they got all these guys hitting on them and I, I don't stand a chance and I can't compete with this and, you know, I don't have this and I don't have that. You know, that's all in your head. That's all on you. That's your fault for thinking that you need, you know, all this extra shit or that you don't, you know, it's your fault for not seeing your value. You understand? Because who gives a fuck about all the dudes hollering at her? So what? So the fuck what? See, again, a lot of that guys will say, well, she got so much guys hollering at her. So, you know, if I, if I talk to her, I have to, again, act like or pretend or, or be this other thing that I'm not to get her attention. Yeah, you could try to do that. Or, or, I have a better, I have a better uh, solution for that. Or, how about this? How about, I mean, I know this sounds crazy. I know this sounds crazy, but just hear me out. Just hear me the fuck out. How about instead of doing all of that and pretending all of this and, and doing all that goofy shit, how about you just work on yourself? How about that? I know it sounds crazy, guys. I know it sounds crazy, but just have just keep an open mind just for, for for a minute. Just hear me out. How about working on yourself? So instead of pretending to be that high value guy that most women want, you will actually be the high value guy most women want. How about that? I'm just saying. I mean, I know it sounds crazy. I know it sounds insane. I know it sounds weird, but how about that? You understand? How about becoming that attractive guy? How about working on your social skills? How about working on flirting and building sexual tension with a woman? How about working on your appearance? You understand? How about building your confidence? How about that? I mean, I know it sounds insane. I'm just saying that when you do that... What's going to happen is, is that you're going to realize how irrelevant it is worrying about, oh, this girl gets hit on by so many guys. Because once you become that dude where that becomes irrelevant to you, when you hear somebody else say that, you're going to look at them and you're going to be like, so what? Click the link below to get the ebook 60 second game. In this book, you learn how your confidence, verbal communication skills, appearance, response to rejection, and honesty can affect your game. Click the link below to get your copy today. Now, before you turn off this video, I want you to do three quick things. One, I want you to click the link below to send me a question. If you have a question on dating and relationships, I'll make a video about it. Two, I want you to click the link under that to get my free audio program, Undeniable Game, which teaches you seven easy to follow tips on how to really attract beautiful women. And three, I want you to click the link under that one to go to Bad Boy Membership, where you get 45 through 90 minute audio and video dating advice tutorials every month. What's up? It's dating and life coach, Mr. Locario. Go to Bad Boy Membership dot com and master the dating game by joining my bad boy membership program in this program you'll receive 45 through 90 minute easy to follow step-by-step -step dating advice tutorials that's guaranteed to help you attract date and have sex with beautiful women join the bad boy membership today by going to badboymembership.com that's badboymembership.com